Hello everyone. Praise God. We have been separated for so long. I hope you all are doing well and blessed. And I apologize for the long amount of time that we have been apart, but I have been working. Um, the Lord has been pressing on to me and working. And I have spent these weeks mostly in prayer. And these prayers are are being answered like a flood <laughs> it's all coming in in fact I got a vision just this very mom this very mo uh, morning uh, forgive me I'm so excited I have so much and I can't tell you how I had to sit on both hands <laughs> Liter literally and figuratively uh, not to just jump on and share with you what God has been giving me because there was so much to it it was like a layered onion and there was just uh, if I would have jumped what do they call that jumping the shark if I would have jumped too soon it would have been too soon it would not have been the message so I had to let this um, grow I had to let this develop in the time and this is the time okay uh, so first off I apologize about any extra sounds that you might be hearing I'm in the quietest room of the house uh, it's early and my family is still asleep but also um, this is the one room that does um, hold sound but there still are sounds from outside so again I apologize uh, I, I just had to get this message to you I have a vision that I received this very moment um, morning and it's beautiful it is a love letter from God one of the most beautiful ones I have been given uh, okay so and then I also have a new dream that is amazing it starts off one way but then with prayer and understanding and also fellowship with my parents my my mother and my father and it was important to talk to both of them because they had different perspectives of the same dream but they both worked together it was it was like god was speaking to both of them to give them this wisdom to pass on to me awesome uh, so I can't wait. I've chills all over I, I, right now. I, I, I just can't wait to share it. And then also a confirmation that actually works today. Today is uh, July the 4th, Independence Day in America. So happy birthday, America. 247 uh, years old um, America is. So on this day, the 4th, um, I think it's very independent interesting because it's the declaration of our independence um, but also it unites the nation and that's kind of the idea of, of God and his love under his protection under his grace under his love and mercy and the salvation of his son we have the freedoms we have the liberty Amen. His love makes it all possible. I could cry right now, uh, but I won't. <laughs> I won't. Okay, so let me get to the vision because I don't want to take a lot of time on this. I know I say that literally every time because that's all my heart, but the information is so huge. Okay, I'm just going to get right to it this morning I woke up extremely early but the Sun was high and bright in the sky and that's what woke me up and with my blurry vision because I'm just waking up I looked across my room and there I saw this glorious image of a father holding his infant child Okay, so I'm going to go with my notes. 
this image that you're seeing is imagine this this image but turned 180 degrees where you could not see the face but you could see the top of his head and as he's holding the child's head imagine that's the blanket that comes up higher so his fingers would be where the blanket was okay so as I'm waking up I'm given this vision and I'm going by my notes so so I'm kind of reading as I go a father God holding an infant child his child I see a throne it's very modest behind him I see the top of his head his hair is black black as the blackest I've ever seen and forgive me God but from my perspective his head was huge <laughs> sorry um, his head was large so I don't know if because his head was tilted to the towards me um, but the image is or maybe I don't know I don't want to add but his head was black his hair was black and his head was big and it was tilted to the side covering his face and I could see a little like twill like if the hair was flipped up I don't know from a breeze or um, just the style but I could see the front kind of flipped up with a little I don't know how to describe it but it was like a little wave in his hair um, his left arm came around from like like if someone's giving you a hug so their arm kind of comes around and his shoulder was on the right side so his fingers and his elbow and fingers were on the left and they were surrounding the child that way so it was an embrace but the arm was covered in what I would assume was gold it was like a gold um, glove of some sort it was yellowy gold and um, that was the arm that was holding the chi the blanket that had the child inside so I never actually saw the child but I knew that there was an infant inside that he was holding and embracing uh, he was sitting down in this throne chair and the throne was modest because the moment was modest um, I don't know how to emphasize that without sounding I, I'm not belittling God in any way this is just a most humble beautiful moment the love of a father for his child okay um, his legs were crossed so I could see the bottom of his I guess that would be his right foot um, but his legs were cross sitting uh, in this chair and uh, let's see his hair was black the throne was modest he was wearing a gold cover covered glove on his left hand there was something about his shoulder and I I apologize I really couldn't work it out I don't know if it was like ripples of robe like material or if it was um, armor I because I'm waking up so I apologize but it was something about his shoulder um, that it was larger in size like I don't know if that was muscular or if that was covering of some sort and then the glove came out and it was a uh, yellowy gold and I could even see like where the wrist kind of turned in to hold the blanket and the blanket came up high so I, I had no image of the child okay so what I got from this moment was pure love a absolute love 
Okay, I have to hurry. My battery's low. I apologize. Um, this was love. A parent for a child. So I took a pause and I wrote, A father's love for his child. Prote protection, gentleness, caring, tenderness, holding an infant, humble, unconditional, the blanket was a symbol. That's what I wrote in my notes. I don't know a symbol of what, but isn't that interesting? The covering itself was important. Um, humble, unconditional, the definition of love. And then I wrote, son of Christ, humanity. Son, oh sorry, son, Christ. Hu and then a question mark. Or humanity question mark and then I wrote we are God's children and and after the vision I, I prayed over this of course and for understanding I'm not sure if this was God loving his child Jesus or was this God father God loving his children which is us humanity but it was the most beautiful tender moment and when I looked up at the Bible verses um, because that gives me like it, it, it completes the work and sometimes um, I, I, anyway uh, I don't I don't want like I said I didn't want to take too long okay um, but I prayed over this and I, I came to Revelation 4, the whole thing, 1 through 11. But 3 talks about his throne. And that was the other part. When John, this is Revelation, so this is John being able to look into heaven. He's allowed to see into heaven. And he can see he calls him the one, which I just got the chills again. Um, he calls him the one, which is God, sitting in his throne. And he and he describes the throne, uh, I think it's called sardine, jasper, um, but it's kind of a reddish color. And he said it was like a rainbow of green over the throne. What I was shown... That, and then a sea of glass. I think that uh, I'm paraphrasing, and please forgive me, the the Bible scholars that are out there. Um, I, I, I'm doing my very best. Uh, I'm more of a visual description person, uh, so I didn't see what John saw because what he saw was majestic. It was uh, regal and and worthy of God. Amen. What I was shown in my vision was love in the purest form. It didn't have to be big. It didn't have to be regal. I saw a humble uh, moment, pure moment. And like I said before, I don't know if it was, because um, God, unless he he came down and had this moment or he had this beautiful moment where he held Jesus maybe because uh, he says um, we understand that God uh, makes us in our mother's womb amen so maybe that's a moment that we wouldn't witness but it was like I got to witness a love a father's love for his child but I just don't know if it was just Jesus or us. So I'm going to leave you with this. God loves you. I know you've heard it. I know you've heard it. Hear me, please. If you can hear my voice, if you can hear the words I'm saying, this message is for you. God loves you with an everlasting love. He created you for your purpose and yours alone. 
even if you're a twin or a triplet, each individual human person was created in God's image for a specific purpose. Of course we have free will and of course we have um, the path we choose but we also have excuse me I gotta get wrap this up we also have a path that he lays out because he has a plan for us all and just like all just like our human parents he has hopes and aspirations and and a plan for us but we also have the freedom to choose so I ask you on this day, on this day that America cho uh, um, celebrates its independence, we celebrate our independence as a nation, as a family. So I ask you, as your sister in Christ under our Father God, to please choose God if you haven't made that choice today. Because the other, the other side of it is separation from God. And, and he doesn't want that. He wants us all in heaven with him. He wants us with him. But he gives us the free will to choose. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up. So that was the vision I received just today. But it's, it was important and I have m so much more to share. I'm going to get this video out so you guys can see it. Please leave comments. I love to fellowship with you and comments. Um, this, that's the only place that I have that we can connect. So if you have any comments or things to share or questions, please leave them. And I will do my very best, especially on a holiday, to get back to you. Please take care and may God bless you and keep you and yours always. God loves you and so do I. I pray in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, that you all always know, love, feel how much God loves you because it's true, it is real, and it is forever unconditional. Please take care. God bless. Bye for now.